Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alfonso Peluso and I'm an associate teaching professor in the College of Architecture at IIT, the home of the legendary Mies van der Rohe, and I'm adjunct faculty at Columbia College Chicago in the Interior Architecture program. Shout out to all my students. Today is a nice sunny Late winter, early spring day. I hope the weather's great where you're at. All right, today we're going to look at Stable Diffusion Comfy UI Interface. This is a great interface for Stable Diffusion. I really love this one. All right, before we jump into it, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Search me up on YouTube, Alfonso Peluso. Click on the subscribe button. Click on the down arrow to receive all the notifications. Help me get to 14,000 subscribers. That's going to be a great milestone. There is something here for everyone. If you're into AI, if you're into rendering, if you're into parametric modeling, if you're into real-time rendering engines, there is something here for you. Also, connect with me on Instagram at my first name, Alfonso, underscore my last name, Peluso. Help me get to 10,000 followers. I am so close. If you're watching this video today or tomorrow, you might be the 10,000th follower. That would be really great. All right, Comfy UI. We see the interface. This is what we're going to end up with today. And we're going to end up creating images similar to what you see here on the screen. All right, I'm just going to clear this out. All right, so we have an empty interface. So the first thing we have to start with is the checkpoint. We need to load the checkpoint model. So we're just going to double click and we're going to type in checkpoint and we're going to choose load checkpoint. All right, the next thing we need are the prompts. We're going to need both the positive prompt and the negative prompt. Okay, we're going to bring out our positive prompt capsule. We're just going to double click and type in prompt. We're going to choose clip text and code prompt and we're going to select that control C control V. So we're going to use both both of these capsules. The top one's going to be our positive prompt and the bottom one is going to be our negative prompt. Okay, the next thing we need to see is the K sampler. And this one really when you bring this one out K sampler, when you bring this one out, you really see all the inputs that you need. You need a model, you need a positive prompt, a negative prompt, and you need a latent image. We haven't brought out the latent image yet, so let's get that on our screen. And we need an empty latent image. Okay, and the empty latent image, this defines the pixels, the width of 512 pixels, the height of 512 pixels, and how many images it's going to render out. It's set to 1 by default. All right, we can plug these in now. We can take our model from our checkpoint model. We can plug our clip into the positive prompt and plug our clip into the negative prompt. And we'll take our latent from our empty latent image and we'll plug that in. We'll take the conditioning and plug that into the positive. And we'll take the conditioning and plug that into the negative. Okay, so we see this VAE that's kind of left over, that's not plugged into anything. So we're going to need that. We're going to need a VAE decode. And it has samples and it has VAE. So we're going to plug our VAE, so we're kind of crossing behind the capsule there. So we're going to really no great way to put that there and then we're going to need our save image okay so to begin with this is everything that we need to start generating images so I'm gonna grab a prompt and I'm gonna paste that in to my positive prompt. In my negative prompt, I can type some things into the negative prompt, like 
if I don't want snow, I can type in snow for this particular prompt. It's been, give, it's been giving me snow. <laughs> so I'm going to put snow into the negative prompt. Okay, so to run this, you can just click on Q prompt or you can use the shortcut control enter. Okay, so we did receive an error there. There's one more input for the VAE decode that we're going to plug in. We have to plug our latent into samples. Okay, so let's try running that. Control enter. All right, and that generates an image for us. And we can keep, if we want to keep seeing additional images, we can control enter. And that's going to keep producing images for us. Okay, let's look at a few options here. Let's focus on the case sampler. So we have some options here. We have the seed, which is set to randomize. So I can set that seed to fixed, and it'll stay with that particular seed. I'm going to leave it on randomized for now. The steps. I found that 30 steps is a great value. Anything higher doesn't warrant any better results. The configuration. Configuration is how, how close it's going to stick to the prompt. So lower values will be more creative. Higher values will adhere more to the prompts. We can experiment a little bit with this. The sampler name. I found that the DPM PP2M is a really good one. DMP PP2M. And the scheduler for that, we're going to change that to Keras. All right, let's make our steps 30. All right, let's run some images. We can change the batch size. We can change that to four, so it'll run four images at a time. And we can just use our control enter. Okay, you can select the capsule and then use the arrow key to go through the different iterations. I really like that one. Okay, so the last thing that I want to look at is upscaling the image. Okay, we're going to need a couple capsules for this. We're going to need a load, upscale, and we're going to choose load upscale model. And I've downloaded and installed the four time ultra sharp upscaler. So you can find that on Civit AI. Okay, we're going to need an upscale image using model. And we can plug our upscale model into this. And we're going to plug our image into it. And then we're going to bring out another save image. And we're going to plug our image into that. Okay, we'll go ahead and run it. Okay, we can click on it. We can right click and choose open image. And here we have our 2048 pixels by 2048 pixel upscaled image. All right, last thing. You're going to want to save your workflow. So you can click on save. And you can just give, click on OK and you can give it a name in your normal browser window. So this one will be our comfy UI basics and it saves everything it saves all the settings it saves the checkpoint model it saves the configuration setting the sampler everything that you've done is saved and also the prompt so if we go ahead and just clear this comfy UI and we just click on load and we can then load in our our workflow all right i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up let me know why you like it in the comments all right my head's gonna pop up in the upper left go ahead and click on that if you haven't subscribed i'll put some other reference videos in the upper right and the lower right all right have a great day and i'll see you on the next one